hey and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing how to set up a pause menu so with that let's get started so first we're going to create a new widget so in the widget folder right click head over to blueprint type in user in the bottom user widget select and they're going to type this wb underscore pause and then we're going to open it and then in here we're gonna get a canvas panel and then after the canvas panel we're gonna get a background blur i'm gonna set its anchor to the entire screen just change the offset for right to zero and the offset for bottom to zero and then we're gonna head over to the blur strength i'm gonna set this to 10 and then after that i'm going to add a horizontal box to the canvas and then this horizontal box we're gonna anchor it at the bottom over here so it's for the entire bottom and then i'm just gonna move it to the bottom as well just make it a little big it doesn't have to be perfect we can fix that later and then in there we're gonna add a couple of buttons so a button with a text block and then we're just gonna duplicate this Control D, Control D again, and then one more. And then these buttons, the first one is gonna be resume. Just rename it to resume. Second one, we're gonna call this one restart. Third one is gonna be settings. And the last one is gonna be quit. So with that, we're gonna set each button to fill. We're not gonna change their appearance. We can do that afterwards. And then in the text blocks, just set the text appropriately to each button. So then also we are going to create a vertical box as well. And then add this to the canvas panel. And then this one, we're also gonna add a button and a text block. Oh no, wait, before we do that, we need to add a horizontal box as well to the vertical box. So in the vertical box, and then the button goes into the horizontal box. And then we're gonna add a text block to the vertical box and a text block on top of the button. So the vertical box is going to be anchored to the center of the screen. So let's just set everything to zero, resize it a bit and then move it. And then set the text block on top of the horizontal box in the hierarchy set its position to the middle and then this one we're gonna call this restart but with a question mark so this is gonna be the prompt so we're gonna have a prompt for restart and quit so that you can ensure that you do actually want to complete those actions rather than just pressing it and then maybe you pressed it by mistake and now you have to restart the race or you quit the race by mistake because maybe something happened so we want to add an extra precaution such as a prompt and then we're going to have two buttons control d so the one is going to be renamed rps for restart prompt yes and then the other one is going to be rp no for restart prompt no and then we're just gonna fill everything fill horizontal box fill and then the buttons in the horizontal box as well once we set to fill and then just rename the text box this one is yes and sorry capital y and the other one is gonna be no and then just set this like so maybe change the size a bit five i'm gonna change the size for each one of these just to make them a bit more visible so now with that we are going to take the vertical box and then rename this to restart prompt make it is variable and then make sure the vertical box selected Control d to duplicate it and then we're going to rename this one to quit prompt and then also place this one over so that they in the same position more or less and then just change the text 
from restart question mark to quit question mark and then we're also gonna rename the buttons q for quit prompt and then the other button is going to be q no and then we're gonna compile save and then we're gonna head over to the graph and then in the graph we are gonna go down to the bottom we're gonna select the resume button unclick next one is gonna be the restart button unclick and then the rp no the rp yes the quit button qp yes and the qp no so with each one of these we're gonna start with the resume so from the resume drag off and then say set set game paused we're gonna leave it as false and then below that we're gonna right click look for get player controller drag off from the player controller look for set show mouse cursor set this to false connect the execution pin and then from the get player controller drag off once again and then look for set input mode to game only connect the execution pin and then after that drag off and then look for remove from parent so if you click on the resume button it is then going to unpause the game um, hide the mouse cursor set the input to game only and then remove the widget from the screen so the opposite to this will be in the player controller which we're going to set up after we are done with the widget so now we're going to head over to the restart so from the restart we are going to oh uh, one thing i forgot to do back in the designer the horizontal box we need to rename this also uh, we're going to rename this to pause options so and then set it to is variable just make sure all the other ones are is variable as well okay and then we're going to compile save head over to the graph again then we're going to drag in the option the pause options drag it in and then we're going to drag off from the pause options look for set visibility under behavior we're going to set it to hidden and then we're going to drag in the restart prompt hold control drag it in and then drag off from it and then say set visibility under behavior and then set that to visible compile head over to the designer and then by default the quit prompt visibility should be set to hidden the restart prompt should be set to hidden and then the pause options should be set to visible by default now you can just compile save back to the graph and then now we're gonna head over to the rp no button so for this one it's pretty much gonna be the restart prompt drag in the restart prompt drag off set visibility to hidden and then the pause options drag that in set visibility and then set this back to visible again so when you press on the restart it's gonna hide the horizontal box where the uh, main buttons are in and then only show the prompt and then if you press no then the reverse happens where you then hide the prompt box and then set the main buttons again and then for the yes we're gonna drag off and then we're gonna look for execute console command and the command we are executing is going to be restart level uh, make sure each word has its own capital but no space in the middle and then that's pretty much gonna be it so now we're gonna head over to the quit so for the quit we are gonna do the same thing gonna drag in the pause options drag off actually we can just copy uh, copy this one over here copy this and then paste it and then just drag in the quit prompt and then set its visibility to visible 
and then do the opposite for the and then for the yes because we have the yes we're gonna drag off and then we're gonna say open level by object reference and then the level we want to open would be the garage so we're gonna quit the race and then head back to the garage and then by the no we are going to control v connect oh no wait don't connect that because we still have this so just drag in the restart prompt hold control drag it in drag off from there set visibility to hidden and then connect the other one and then set that to visible so we're going to compile and save and that should be everything now i know the settings one doesn't have anything attached to it we haven't created a widget for that we're going to do that in a future video so for now this is all that we need so we're gonna compile save and then just dock this over there we're gonna head over to the player controller and then in the player controller we're gonna set up the opposite to the restart but before we do that we need to go to the level head over to the input folder in the actions we are gonna right click input input action i'm gonna call this ia underscore pause and then just save all head back to the input folder and then in the imc native under the mappings where we have all of the input actions we're going to add a new one and the one we're going to add is the ia pause we just created and then we're going to expand that and then you can either on the none search for the button you want but i'm going to click on the keyboard and i'm going to use the p key for for pause you can use whatever button you want and then with that that is set up you can close that make sure you save before you close the window and then in the player controller find an empty spot somewhere and then look for the enhanced input event we're gonna look for the ia pause we created and then we're gonna expand it and then from the started we're going to drag off and then look for create widget the widget we want to create is the pause widget and then we're going to drag off from the return value look for add to viewport and then from the create widget once again set input to input mode to ui only and then we are going to look for a reference to self for the player controller just type in self from the self drag off and then look for set show mouse cursor i'm gonna set this one to true connect the execution pin and then from the self connect that to the player controller by the set input mode ui only connect the execution pins and then after this drag off and then set game paused to true so with that that should be everything I'm gonna compile save and then go and test it out make sure that it works so we're gonna save all once again play the level and then press p okay so the widget shows up the game paused press resume back to the game press p again restart we now have the widget if we say yes then the race restarts so we're just going to test it out again hit p restart no settings doesn't work we have quit hit no turn this back you quit again say yes and then we are back in the garage level we have verified that everything works and until the next video